here about 10, 10.30 on Thursday morning and uh, the truck has just arrived and we're starting to get set up for the day. All right, so we are here inside the secret sanctum of the food truck. Um, who are we here with today? Hi, it's Christine. It's and Amanda. what is your business? Um, it's a bubble tea and a food truck. I want to know how you got started doing this in Nibua, of all places. Well, first, um, I started drinking bubble tea like a couple years ago. I always buy in Brandon. And then my mom kept saying me that I always buy. So she had the idea of like, why don't you have a business of bubble tea? Because we have a business in the Philippines. So for her, it's, it's you know, she'll, I know she'll help me to manage it. So. And I started doing the business plan and everything. And I'm loving it. It's like being my hobby and doing everything. So after that, I I tried to join the What's the Big Idea. Yeah, I mean, it's here. And that event gives me more motivation to pursue it. So that was when you started with What's the Big Idea? So that was 2019? 2019. No, at that time you didn't have the truck yet, right? No. So how, where does the truck come into the story? Um, we're supposed to, we talked to a lot of people about the buildings and stuff, but because it was a small town, it's hard to find a space. And then COVID come, come, so it's more difficult for us to find a place. And people are um, isolating and, you know, not going out. So my mom thought, actually everything that's in this truck, it's my mom's idea. She thought, why not have a food truck? Everything is delivery, everything is to go. People are going inside restaurants or shop. So why not have a food truck? That's, that's when we had idea of having a food truck. Yeah. That is awesome. There are not enough food trucks in rural areas. Yeah, and I think we're the first food truck bubble team in Manitoba. That's awesome. So I'm very proud of it. <laughs> so I bought the food. I bought this truck. It's actually it's a Christmas gift for my family because we we bought this truck December twenty fourth. Okay. Yeah. I found it on Facebook December twenty first, and then we bought it December twenty fourth. Yeah, and we built this truck for six months actually. So well, it takes a while to install everything, right? Yes. And, and everything in here is like. Um, Inspired really by my mom. The outside color of the truck. Yeah. The top one is the uh, when they're doing the wrap. It was the time that um, Northern Lights. People are crazy about Northern yeah. Lights. That's why the top of my truck. It's the uh, Northern Lights. Actually, oh, that's awesome. It's really from a. I got it from a picture in one of the pages in Northern Light Manitoba something. Okay. I asked if I can take that photo for my. Oh, truck. that's amazing! Yeah, and the um, and some structures in the pictures in the wrap is from Taiwan because bubble tea is originally from Taiwan. Okay, that's why it's called bubble tea because as soon as you shake it, there's bubbles on top. Okay, that's why it's called bubble tea. That's why, and it's milk okay. because it's milk and the tea. Yeah. <laughs> so yeah, and the lips in the front, in the side, mm -hmm. the big lips. It's it's my mom's lips. Oh really? Really Does she know that? Yeah, it's her smile and everything. Oh, that is awesome. Yeah. So, how did you come up with the name for the business? Actually, it's um, cause we're, cause all the teas in the Philippines always ends with tea, like infinity. Actually, at first I want to be emoji. That's why there's a hashtag emoji. Yeah. Right? It's like emojis and tea it's supposed to be. Yeah. But we had a family talk, and then yeah, it's. Actually, it's my brother's idea. Why not put everything, like all, all the words, yeah. like emotions and things, instead of just emo tea. Yeah. So yeah, that's why it's emotions and okay. tea. Okay. Yeah. I love all the like the emojis and everything in the design. Yeah. And the colorful thing. It's like my personality. So let's talk a little bit about what bubble tea is. Well, bubble tea is a Taiwanese. It's originally from Taiwan. It's actually um started from a from a, a leaf that flew in a cup a tea, a tea in a okay. cup, and then that guy had the tea I had that leaf in a cup and then 
tasted good. So that's why the tea invented. And then after that, a couple, couple decades ago, someone put milk on it. Because they thought it's like it's too hot. So why not put a milk? So yeah. And then people are, you know, um, it's innovating. Yeah. So they try to put different stuff on it. That's why it's cool. That's why bubble tea invented. And that's where like the tapioca pearls yeah, and all these jellies stuff like or that. whatever. Jellies. Oreos or cookies or whatever you wanted to put on it. And you have a lot of different flavors, right? Yes, I do have 15 flavors. I think 15 or more. Yeah. And actually one of the, I, I haven't really showed it to people, but I want them to really customize their drinks. Yeah. Whatever their feelings are, because that's my really, that's, that's my, that's the idea of the truck. It's whatever you're feeling that day, yes. and that's your... Like there's a lady yesterday, she said, I never had coconut and matcha. Do you mind making it for me? So I tried and then we made it and I let her taste it and if I need adjustments, I'll do it. So yeah, she likes it because that's her mood, she said. You yeah. didn't want any other flavor because I never had really mixing coconut yeah. and matcha. Yeah, so if people wants to really do crazy about the flavors. That's yeah, fine. As creative as they want. Yes. So what is some of the equipment in this truck that you use to make your teas? Um, I have a sealing film, mm -hmm. which seals the cup. Yeah. This okay. is a film, and then I put the cup in here, and then I do manually pull up. So okay, and that's for like the lemonades and the stuff like that, yes. right? Yeah. Before I was doing the lead, the bare leaves. Yeah. Yeah. But because um, this coming September, I'm going to attend the food trip. It's a Filipino festival in Winnipeg. Okay. It's on September 3, 4, 5. So, yeah, you can come in there. It's, um, it's a big event. It's like a Red River X kind of oh, thing. Oh, awesome. Yeah, it's a big event. So, I'm just very proud that I got into place in there because it's really a few spots that I still got into. That's fantastic. Yeah. So this is my shaker. Okay. It's from okay. Taiwan. And I had a training in I had a training in Taiwan a couple of years ago. Oh really? Yeah. Okay. And then before I started I had to do some training again to refresh myself. Of course, yeah. Because <laughs> I forget. If you don't if you don't use it you forget it, right? Yes. Because actually I, I lost I lost hope. I lost hope and then I did the travel because I was a travel healthcare worker. Okay. I travel everywhere in Manitoba because I'm having a <laughs> hard time getting to the shop. So, yeah. but that's the time my mom got into a food truck. Actually, I lost hope, but my mom one day she said, Christine, why are not you doing the bubble tea anymore? I'm like, oh, nah, I'm gonna give up, I said. And she said, why are you giving up? I, I can see that it's in your heart and you love the the work you're doing. You have the passion, she said. Okay, I'm gonna try again. And then when I started trying, never stopped. So that's why we're here now. <laughs> yeah, I don't know. I just, I just love it. I just love doing it, especially when I see people smiling. Because of course I work in healthcare. When people are satisfied, happy, yeah, it's like more for feeling to myself. It's like I'm making a difference. Oh wow. Yeah. So yeah. And we have all your like flavors and the flavors. My vanilla jar. My sayings, my flavors, everything's back here. Yeah. All in one truck. I food trucks are amazing. I have to buy my stuff weekly because if I'll do it for supply for a month, it can't yeah. fit in my truck. Yeah, exactly, yeah. right? <laughs> yeah, so there's so, a, you know, it's a difficult sometimes, but you know, at the end of the day, it's fulfilling and I'm so happy. And it's been going well for you so far? Yes. Every so time far. I drive by here, there seems to be people here. Yes, so. and some places are inviting me, like Mendoza, Gladstone. Yeah. On Saturday, I'll be in Gladstone. Oh, for the fair. Yes, yeah. they invited me there. And then some places close to Carman, those places, they invited me. Oh, wow. And then Winnipeg, those vacant grocery lots in there, because the trucks park in there. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, so. And it's a truck, so it can go anywhere, right? Yes, and I got a space in there, too. They allow me to park in there. That's why people, when they ask, oh, we are not here on Saturday or Sunday, oh, <laughs> we were really those, uh, yeah, so. So what are your regular hours? And so we're here in the, for any of the local residents, they know is the old co-op lot. Yes. So my hours 
for the last three weeks it's been like every afternoon but now we will be starting at 11 to 8. 11 to 8? Yeah, okay. it's more than 8 hours. <laughs> That's gonna be a long day. Yes and... But it lets people get here after work. Yes and sometimes 9 or sometimes 10. Yeah. If they really caught us cleaning and if they really want it, I'll make it actually. Even if it's the size is closed, <laughs> if they really want it, I'll, I'll open okay. it for them. So yeah, so we had the three weeks trial and this Sunday we will be having the really the grand opening. Okay. Yeah. So we So is there a particular time on Sunday or just um, all days? Twelve o'clock. Okay. On Sundays we do twelve to eight. Okay. But Monday to Friday we do eleven to seven. Okay. And sometimes depends because or I'm, or till eight or nine or ten. Because <laughs> I'm the only one making the bubble tea. Okay. So sometimes and I'm the only one going to get some supplies. So if I'm not here, the truck is closed. Yeah. Yeah. So the grand opening will be on Sunday. So we had the trial for two weeks. And we changed the cups. Yeah. Yeah. It was, it was big before, but people are like, oh, do you have a smaller because the kids? Right. So I made it more, more, not affordable, more, more, Available. More available, yeah. To the people, to the everyone. Yeah. So we will be having um, this cup. Before we yeah. had the extra large, yeah. now this is a large. Okay. And we will be um, selling mediums too. Okay. Yeah. Great. For especially school is coming. School starting very yes. soon. We're already into August here. So, so yeah. I didn't really open this medium one when we started because it's really meant for the kids actually. Yeah. And when you start, you want to start with simple, right? Yes. And then um, on winter, we're going to have also hot tea. That's why we have oh, hot cups in there. Nice. It's just okay. I'm not serving it now because it's too hot. It's <laughs> August, yeah. Who yeah. <laughs> needs hot tea in August? Yeah, that's why I feel bad when I see all, like, our old loving people in there yeah. that they can't buy because <laughs> it's, you know. Although it is a bit of a rainy day out there today, yeah. so I don't know. There's a old lady, there's a couple before, they, they're they looking for a ice cream. Oh, yeah. I don't have ice cream. No. So I just gave them ice cream. And they asked me how much was it. I said, nah, it's okay. <laughs> don't worry about it. Yeah. Actually, in my, in my, they call this one, my loyalty card. Okay. If there's a, if they get, if they drink nine, Cups and the tent is free. And at the back, you'll see um, because of COVID, I had a I I had a thought of what acts of kindness have you ever done or participated in during the coronavirus? And then if they'll yeah. share us, I'll give them a free topping or two oh, or more, so yeah, nice. or whatever. So one kindness equals one in a million of happiness. Take care and be safe. Always remember that God's love and compassion is stronger than fear. That is so yeah. sweet. Yeah. I love that. I need to get a loyalty card because I've been here three times have, already. You can have two and <laughs> Like all of it. And actually, my, I like a shirt. Oh, yes. It's a shirt. Yeah. It's like about, it's, it's like about long way yeah. and patience and, you know, yeah. don't lose hope and faith and love. And you didn't lose hope and you have business now. That's why I have this logo because I never lose hope. Any last thoughts? Um, Come to the grand opening. <laughs> yeah, for the grand opening. <laughs> Please come because we'll have discounts and stuff, surprises. Okay. So, and I will bring all the flavors that they wanted. And everything. Yeah. Awesome. I will be there. <laughs> and I want to thank my parents. Um, without them, this would come, this my dream would come true. Yeah, because of their help, support, my brother, especially my boyfriend, they're, they're endless support to me. Like, so thankful about it. Without them, I am nothing today actually. Yeah. Because of the because of the hope, faith and love of my parents to me. All things that I have and for who I am now, it's because of them. That's why I love them so much. This, this is not um, they, they, actually they shouldn't congratulate me. They should congratulate my parents, my family. It's because of them with this truck will be here today. Thank you so much for your time Thank you. today. Thank you.